Praise God, my YouTube viewers. I'm here to teach you a message about I have a vision. May God bless the viewers. If there's somebody, invite a person. Tell them there's a word going on here. If they are far away, call them. Tell them to tune in the YouTube and view Power Master Broadcasting and Geop Gibo Ministry. Let them subscribe. Let them hit the notification bell to receive updates and the new videos. You are most welcome and God bless you. Thank you, Anne Giga Nyambura. I see you are viewing my contents. May God bless you. May God bless Michael and Dan. And thank you for your airtime. I see you sending me airtime many times. Anne Giga Nyambura from Pipeline Resident. God bless you. God bless you, David Mdunda. I see you watching my contents on Geop Gibo Ministry and the Power Master Broadcasting. Please incite all the people on your phone book to subscribe to my YouTube channel and uh, uh, Power Master Broadcasting and another one is Geop Gibo Ministry. Thank you, David Mdunda. May God bless you and may God bring you to the church. Topic today is I have a vision. You have a vision. That is found in the Matthew 13, verse 24 to 30. You'll read it on your own time. John chapter 10, verse 10, which says, A thief comes to, to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But Jesus came to give us life in abundance. Go read John 10 10. God is the owner of the garden where good seeds and bad seeds grow together. This garden called earth, where good people and bad people grow. The gardener is Jesus Christ. And who sent him? His father, Jehovah, the I am who I am. I am means Yahweh. This, and those who aborted all bad men, who killed and abused their wives. We have those who are aborted, and we have bad men who abused and killed their wives. He waits, God waits until you finish your journey. You better repent. God waits until you finish your journey. You better repent. This message is reaching your ears for you to change. Because the, before something bad and worse happens and painful. God created you to be great. He never wasted his time to create valueless things. He created you, you are valuable. Everybody, a woman or a man, a child, grown up, a lamb, the blind, all of them, they are valuable. God never wasted time to create something that is not of essential. Anything you see in the world created by God is valuable. Anything you see, any creation. What is the meaning of the word vision? Vision, you can see it in the dream. You can see it when you are fasting. You can see it when you are praying. You can see it. When you get a small nap, or you can just see it live. So vision means, that vision is short form. The long meaning of vision, I mean the long term uh, statement of vision is visiting on. In, in, the, in length is vi, vis, visiting on. In short form is vision. When you shorten it, it becomes vision. But in long, when in, in length, it becomes visiting on. When you have a vision, you are visiting in the future or in the past to see what happened or what's going to happen. That's the meaning of vision. For example, Joseph had a vision when he dreamt that he's great and his brothers are bound to him. I want you to take time and say to yourself, say, I have a vision. 
say to yourself, I have a vision. Thank you. Thank you for saying you have a vision. May God bless you and your family abundantly. In Jesus' name. Say, God has allowed my vision. Say, I'll be there. Joseph went there. Katupo kwa Shimo, katupo kwa Jela, and kakua prime minister. And your vision is not a normal vision. It's a prime vision. Say, I have a prime vision. Because Joseph became prime minister. Next, uh, next to king. He will become prime. Next to king Jesus, to king God. I will take God, Jesus, Holy Spirit is you next. Receive that greatness in Jesus' name. Receive that goodness in Jesus' name. God has allowed your vision and you will be there. You go find yourself time to read Genesis 37, verse 8 to verse 3 to 8. Genesis 37, verse 3 to 8. You can uh, replay the video. Vicious, visionless ones, those who have no vision, are also watching you. They are spying on you and watching on you with your vision. You have a vision, you speak to them, they hear it, they learn about it, they spy on what you are doing about the vision you said. They hated Joseph, the visionless ones, the brothers, and the ones surrounding you. They hated Joseph. You can you the you also are not different from Joseph because you have a vision. You know vision is visiting all. Vision people are hated. But you who have a vision, remember, a vision people a vision people are hated. So you have a, vi a vision, <laughs> expect to be hated. But you must vow to make it happen. Vow like Joseph. He never fell into the trap of uh, the, that wife. Yeah. When he was thrown in the jail. He never fell into the trap of avenging his brothers. Or fighting back when they, they were throwing him in the pit. You'll be hated because of your vision. If you are experiencing hate everywhere you go. Either relatives or non-relatives, any institution you are, in the office, in the workplace, those of white collar job, those of Juakali, any type of job you are doing, if you're experiencing hate, you know that you have a vision, you are great. But you vote to make it happen. And you can also be attacked, because Joseph was attacked and thrown into the pit in the hall before he went to Potiphar's house. Because you have a dream, you will be attacked. You can also be attacked. All sides, except ex expect attacks from all sides, not only relatives. God did not tell you when you will achieve that vision or when you will be in that, in that area, like Joseph became a prime minister. God did not tell him when he will be a prime minister. So you, he has not told you when you will be there, or when you will achieve that vision. God has not told you how you, when you will achieve it. When you will achieve it, God has not told you. He gave a vision to you and to me. So, he will help you to achieve it and to reach it. Say, I have a prime vision, because you are a prime person. And you have seeds of greatness. And you yourself, you are great. You are creative. You are rich and not poor. You are strong, not weak. You are clever and smart, not foolish. When God gives you a vision, Satan is not so far. He is around you. He gives you confusion. God gives vision. Satan gives confusion. And his vision and version, he gives you his vision, confusion, and his version. 
everything about him is just confusion. May it be version, may it be confusion. It all amounts to confusion. Anything from Satan is confusion and confusing. You are way to the, uh, okay. When you have a vision, you are on your way to the throne. You are on your way to become great and prime. But Satan brings confusion and he brings his version. That is the, uh, that, that meets you on your way to the throne. When you are on the way to the throne, when you are on your way to become great, to be promoted, Satan brings confusion and his version. People will be there to confuse you. They are, they are, they are no, <laughs> they, they are nowhere. And they want you to, to be nowhere and nobody. They want you to be a nobody and they want you to be nowhere because these people who are there to confuse you, these people who are there to confuse you, they are nowhere. Those who are confusing you, those who are hating you, they are nowhere. And they want you to be nowhere. They, are, they, don't, they don't want you to reach there. They are nowhere. They want you to be like them. When you see them pressing you, and touching or pinching you, it's because you are on top or you are above them or in front of them. Put the phone on the Bluetooth on the um, woofer or on the, any system in your house which can use Bluetooth. Because in my spirit, I, I receive a revelation that people are not hearing what I'm saying. I don't have a good camera, I'm just using a new pray phone. And those who are viewing and they like my ministry, please subscribe more. When YouTube will start paying me, I'll buy a good camera. Or you can make it easy. Uh, my number is 254-741-267504. When you use that number, you can send me something, tell me, a prophet Alexander Okwayo, I'm buying you a camera. I'm buying you a good system for you to receive clear voice and to, re to receive a, an edited video. Job chapter 1, verse 1 to 2. You will see, you read it when you have enough time. Make sure you read every book I say for you to understand what I'm talking about. Dream should not confuse you you have a vision, but a dream should not confuse you. What Joseph dreamt happened exactly. So, don't misquote a dream. When it comes, that is how it will happen. Like Joseph dreamt, stars bowing to him, and it's moon and sun, and it happened like that. Stars were his brothers. Moon and sun was father and mother. Your dream you dream of thieves. It is true. Because thieves cannot steal where nothing valuable is. So if you have a dream, you have ever dreamt, since you are young or this age, if you ever dreamt that thieves have uh, attacked you, that, that, in, in, that is in the spirit, in the spiritual realm. But in the physical realm, that dream interpretation means, also God has given me the grace to interpret dreams. It means, uh, you have something valuable coming or in your spirit which is waiting for you to access it in your, in your reality with the gift. So, that's what it means. Why fibroids is blocking your tubes? Because you have lawyers, magistrates, doctors, that's why you can't conceive. You've been trying to conceive, you've gone to prayers, to many prophets, but fibroids is blocking your tubes because you are carrying lawyers, doctors, magistrates, engineers, but mm -hmm. how old you are does not mean you will not achieve your dream. For example, Abraham was too old, but he achieved his dream. Haggai 1, verse 5 to 9, when you are barren, it's because your child is a special one, stored far away in heaven. In faith, pray the angel to start preparing, when uh, you pray for the angel to start preparing. And when you have prayed and you say amen, start naming the name of the child and buy clothes, buy oil, buy basin.
to show God that you believe what you prayed will happen. I'm winding up. See you on part two or another message I'll bring after this one. God bless you, my viewers. Your dreams have a, you dream you have a vehicle or you are driving a nice car or a nice house. You are in a very good house. Maybe ni akwamba ni akununua. It is it means uh, many things you dream about, good ones. It means something very important in is in you. Something very important is in you. When you pray, knowing uh, when you pray, you should know Satan is also spying and listening to your prayer. Maybe when you are speaking in tongues, that is what he can't understand. How can Satan know you? And God who created you don't know you. God who created you knows you better than, when, than how Satan knows you. God caused you to visit your vision in a dream, visiting on vision. So he'd also help you to achieve it. God caused you. When you dream good things, God is taking you to the future, showing you what he has prepared for you in store. It will must happen. God, in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I am I am Yahweh is your name. Just in Jesus Christ's name. My viewers in power, master broadcasting, those who have subscribed, those who are watching, those who are listening, and those in Geop Gibo Ministry also subscribe on that. And those in TikTok, Alex Teddy and Alexander Choir. Let them watch. And this on Facebook, Alexander Choir, let them watch and be blessed. Those who have known they are barren because they are carrying doctors, lawyers, politicians, they are carrying great people and blocked Philippian tubes by Satan because he doesn't want that those people to come. Give them the grace to pray. And as they touch this, this screen, I'm praying touching my stomach. Let them be unblocked, they are, or they are Philippian tubes. Let them be unblocked. Let the Aetorahs be free from fibroids. Let there be a baby, the lawyer, the doctors, the nurses, the, 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 the magistrates, the chief engineers, in Jesus Christ and the pilots, in Jesus' name, great people. Those barren, they are no longer barren. They are no longer barren. They are no longer barren. In Jesus' mighty name, let them receive those great people who have been blocked by death or by the fallopian tubes. I cause the fallopian tube to be open. Fallopian tube, I command. In the name of Jesus, be open. In the mighty name of Jesus, be open. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Those who have no jobs, those who have no jobs and they are embarrassed, they are hated because they have a vision like Joseph. Let them achieve their vision. Help them, oh Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Help them reach their vision. Thank you, Jesus. When they touch the screen, let them receive divine conversion, divine, divine, divine jobs, divine money, divine speed. Psalm 69 verse 70, let them receive divine speed to reach their goals. Divine speed to reach their goals, divine spirit to build their houses. Those who have not been able to finish their houses, let them finish that houses and build another one bigger than that one. Let them chimba visima, let them dig boreholes there. In Jesus Christ's name, let there be farm produce. Let them be animals, cows, goats, and chicken, and never to die never to be sold of your ovio in Jesus' mighty name. Those who desire to have good phones, those who desire to have good phones, receive good phones in Jesus' name. Android and uh, iPhone 14 and above. iPads, tablets in Jesus' mighty name. Those who desire to have good television, have 42 inch and above, smart TV and uh, home theater in Jesus Christ's name. Receive you a good job. Receive favor in your boss's eyes. Receive favor, receive